All right, I haven't had Van Loon in a pretty long time. Um, I'm just, ever since they stopped making the, or I think they changed something about their production where the recipe changed in a way that's just, it got more airy, less chunks, smaller chunks. You could, you could just feel it's not the same qual quality anymore as it used to be when they had the old pints and stuff. But um, this one, I had to try it. Like, I know they make crazy flavors and any kind of crazy flavor that they make, I wanna try. So I still wanna get the ranch one, which I think is not available anymore, but maybe I could find it. They have a glass onion one, which is coming out soon. And I loved their Kraft macaroni and cheese ice cream. Like I had it 10 times, I think. <laughs> I bought everything from that Prospect Heights scoop shop back in 2021 when, when they first um, had it and um, this one that I have now is a pretty classic flavor but I think it's new I haven't seen it before and I was like I need to get this and actually was I found a, found out about it last night and then today I found it so that's and I was, wasn't even looking for it so that's fate and that's why I got it it's malted cookie dough shake like a malted milk base ice cream base and then we have cookie dough chunks and we have chocolate chunks and it is um, it is light like it's not as dense as the Ben Jerry's or the Blue Bar Pines um, or haagen -Dazs. It's also not as airy as like a Briars. It's some, some, somewhere in between. And I know that they don't have that many chunks. Like nothing compared to a Ben Jerry's. That's what I know from the past, so we will see. But um, they started making ice cream in 2008, by the way. Started in Brooklyn with um, an old like ice cream truck. I think it was a. Mr. What are they called? Well, one of the ice cream trucks. Um, and then they eventually opened their first scoop shop. So it's 880 calories per container. It has two and a half servings. One serving is 108 grams. Then we have 55 grams of fat for the whole pint. 80, sorry, 60, 86 grams of carbs. Uh, 68 grams of sugars and 11 grams of protein. First ingredient is cream, then we have milk, then cane sugar, then egg yolk. So this is a French custard base, which is cool. I like that. Kudos for that. Um, then wheat flour, cocoa beans, cocoa butter, malted barley. That's the malt flavor. Water, canola oil, coconut oil, molasses, more malt flavor there. Tapioca flour, vanilla extract, sea salt, sunflower lecithin, soy lecithin, baking soda, salt, vanilla bean. So real vanilla bean, two ingredients that give that malty flavor. So this could be good. I mean, the ingredients, this is amazing. So sorry about complaining. It's not fair. Good, 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 good ingredients list. I let it melt quite a while. A life without anything good is bad, yep. So that means a life without ice cream is bad, right? Ha! Okay, two things. <sighs> the cookie dough looks too small for my liking. Sorry. Second thing, the ice cream, judging by, by the color, looks really good and malty. And it smells malty. I think I'm gonna like that. Oh my god, I think this was a good choice. It smells so good and malty. Like if you know that carnation malted milk powder, that's what it smells like. It's, yeah, like I said, not as dense as a Ben Jerry's. Mm. You can taste it's a custard. It's so smooth. And even though it's an ice cream, it feels warm in your mouth. And to be honest, I don't mind the air too much right now because the flavor, I think it might be the best malt ice cream I've ever had in my whole life. It just tastes exactly like a malted milk. Wow. And it is so creamy and smooth. This could be the perfect cookie ice cream ever. And the chunks are not too small. I can see it. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're okay. That's a decent size. That's fine. I just came closer. Maybe you could hear it. It does have the sugar crunch, which is crucial for me and any cookie dough and ice cream. Gotta say, <laughs> 
The chocolate chunks are a little, although they're just different sizes, you know. Here's a bigger piece and that's a smaller one. Crunchy. You can taste it's good chocolate. It's not the super, yeah, it's a good dark chocolate. Okay, well, I take back what I said. This ice cream is amazing. I might get it again. Might be the, with the Kraft mac and cheese, it's my favorite Van Loon flavor, actually. Wow. And thank you. I don't think I've ever had a better malt flavored ice cream.